the seed for what is happening in Lagos State today was effectively laid with the fraudulent presidential election. And I say fraudulent because there is sufficient basis upon which to make that claim. But more importantly, the figures that were released in Lagos State as the presidential election result were already doctored before they were released. It has no basis in reality. Yes, Labour Party won. Do you have but, any evidence? Oh, yes. That? There, is, there is more than sufficient evidence. Where INEC has become completely unreliable in terms of declaration of result, I will not even rely on the result that we have in our situation room. If I go by what PDP released in the public space, it's more than sufficient. PDP said Peter B and Labour Party had over 900,000 votes in Lagos State. They had a little over 100,000 and APC are the same. The truth of the matter is that Bola Ahmed Tinubu was roundly rejected in Lagos State. It wasn't just the Igbos. It wasn't about the Igbos rejecting him. He was rejected across the length and breadth of Lagos State because it was a referendum on his 24 years rule and hegemony in the state. So when you now heard the INEC people announcing a result that was supposedly so close with such depressed voters number, I remember that I was on a rise maybe a couple of days after that result was released, and I said at the time very clearly that this result is not reflective of what happened. At my polling booth, they were counting votes up until 1.43 a.m. in the morning. My wife did not vote until around 8.30 in the evening, and so the same happened across the length and breadth of Lagos, despite the best effort of those who were bent on disrupting the elections. So when they brought out the figure, I said immediately that, one, it was not as close as they would like to pretend that it was. It wasn't close. It was a whitewash. However, in order to validate the lies that they have to tell and the tribal hatred that they are staring up, they had to portray a close election so that the script that they have already written for this Saturday's election might be legitimized in all the nonsense they are doing. So, one, number one, we must be clear about something. The first duty of a state is the protection of citizens. When you have a situation where citizens are being attacked and people are being singled out for attack, you had the one in the jail dodo, one ballet in the jail dodo, or KBAC in the jail dodo, suddenly remembering that he wants to worship Oro and is declaring Oro during the period when people should be out. Well, well I think we've uh, had a clarification on that. He said the Oro rights will go up until Friday. Yeah, let me, if you have had clarification Saturday. on that, there was another one in social media today some bearded clown talking about another Uru again. Yeah. Another, yet this was the same person that was caught on camera during the presidential poll. So you have a situation where you can speak about the political class in a situation where you have a political class. What we are dealing with is a criminal class that is determined to hold the people down by force of harms or whatever it takes. They are making this about tribe because there is no record to place before the people. We've had 24 years. 24 years. My people have a proverb. They say, Okay.